Marine debris is a serious threat to marine mammals and sea turtles. Because these animals live in the water but they breathe air, a lot of times when they encounter a derelict or lost net, they will become entangled in that net and it can make it difficult for them to rise up to the surface and breathe and eventually they can drown. Marine debris is also oftentimes mistaken for food, so these animals will ingest it or eat it and then they will eventually starve. Derelict traps or ghost traps pose a very serious threat to the health of our oceans and that's because they will continue to fish or collect animals even though there's no one there to pick them up and the animals that remain in the traps will eventually die from starvation or hunger and this is a serious waste of a resource. The NOAA Marine Debris Program is a leader in the field of investigating the problem of marine debris and we don't even have a clue as to how large this problem is globally. But we can tell you that it is a significant problem because as we've learned, marine debris accumulates over 52 metric tons a year in uninhabited islands such as the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And in the past short three years, we funded over 100 projects around the United States that focus solely on the problem of marine debris. We're also working to prevent the problem by working with scientists to develop new techniques for commercial and recreational fishing gear that may eventually dissolve under the water after a period of time. On an individual level, it's very simple. You can do the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. That goes a long way towards preventing marine debris. On a community level, you can get involved in your local beach cleanups or talk to your local congressman about how important it is to address marine debris.